I feel like the transitional season is definitely my favorite time of year, mostly because it means that I can access and utilize so much more of my wardrobe because it's cold some days, it's warmer some days, so I've got a lot more layering opportunities than I do in the winter time and also in the summertime. So today I kind of thought it'd be fun to talk about my transitional season wardrobe essentials. These are kind of the items that I'm going to be wearing on repeat over this period until it kind of heats up to summer uh, and also they're the ones that I would wear at the opposite end of the spectrum if we were kind of heading towards winter too. Now obviously t-shirts are going to be in there and I'm going to talk about them in a minute but I thought I would start with something a little bit more unexpected. A really great skirt that I can wear with tights but I can also wear it without so something that kind of works for both winter and also for summer too. So I've got a couple here. This one is definitely more of a unique choice, especially for me because it has a camo print pattern on it, but it's in navy. This is from Christopher Kane, and I actually bought this one pre-love from The Real Real, and I love it. It looks great with tights, but also looks really good with bare legs as well, especially if I've got a little bit of a tan. I will be doing a bit of a fake tan to kind of bronze myself up for the summer, but I really love the silhouette of this just because it is a little bit more streamlined. And then the other one that I've got is from Everlane, and I've talked about this before. This is their A-Line line patch pocket skirt and I love this because it is such a classic shape. It's not too A-line uh, and it's really good because it's a nice thick weight cotton but it's perfectly breathable for the summer although you can layer it up easily with tights for winter too. Then we have the lightweight knit sweaters. These are the things that I'm going to be throwing over a t-shirt or over a camisole or something like that that are going to help me keep warm but aren't going to be too heavy and make me kind of feel like I'm sweating or anything like that. So I have two. One is from Everlane. A lot of my basics tend to come from there just because I feel like they do them very well. This is just an oatmeal colored uh, crew neck and it has almost a weave to the fabric. It is really nice, very lightweight, a good one. This is the kind of thing that I would wear by campfire late at night if I was camping in the middle of summer. Definitely what I'd be reaching for just because the weave does mean that it's a lot more breathable and it just feels very airy. The other kind of sweater basic that I would have is a lightweight merino knit. The one that I kind of have been reaching for a bit is from Marks and Spencer and it's just a plain black one but I find that this simple crew just goes with absolutely everything and it's a really great one just kind of pair with a lot of the skirts or bottoms that I tend to wear on a regular basis. Because I've mentioned t-shirts a little bit I just thought I would share my two favorites. I've got one here from Redone. These are horrendously expensive but it has been hands down my favorite tee. I've had mine for over a year and it's held up really well. I wear it all the time and I do have to wash it after every single wear just for hygiene purposes and I haven't noticed any kind of deterioration to the quality so I think it's really great that oh, although the neckline maybe has stretched out a little bit but I think that's just because of my laziness of when I put it on the hanger and I've stretched it myself. The other one I've got is from Frame. This one was one that I bought again pre-loved from The Real Real. It's kind of my favorite place whenever I'm looking for something that is a little bit more expensive but I don't necessarily want to splash it out. And this one is a really nice soft cotton. It feels like Madal though. It is so lovely, very luxurious and it feels a little bit more heavyweight than the Redone one. The next item that I would include is a nice dress, one that I can layer up but one that also works really well on its own. I thought I would just mention this one from Everlane just because it's kind of a newer piece in my closet and it's one that definitely ticks those boxes. And actually I've mentioned this a couple of times in videos but I've not actually mentioned this. It does have adjustable straps so you can kind of make it work for you and I love this little shirt detail at the back. So it's made from a cotton lawn which is more of a lightweight fabric, very breathable for the warmer months but it works really well with say that black merino knit that I mentioned before laid underneath for days when it's a little bit cooler and it also looks great with tights too being a really dark navy colour. As you'll probably notice with a lot of my wardrobe I tend to gravitate more towards darker colours just because I find that they tend to be the most versatile especially if you're kind of going for more feminine silhouettes like this one. Now as much as I like mini skirts that I can kind of wear with tights I also like midi skirts and I tend to prefer to wear these exclusively with their legs when it comes to the transitional season. I've got two here and these both have a bit of personality to them because I feel like it's a really good opportunity for me to kind of jazz up my outfits with a playful print. This one is from Lover and it was a sale wardrobe edition. It's a really nice kind of A-line midi skirt and a trench style with these buttons down the front. Really heavyweight cotton so again it's going to be a breathable fabric but because it is so heavy it means that it's really appropriate for when it's cooler as well. Great with a sweater but also looks really chic with a t-shirt too. And then the other one that I've got is a really old one. This one's from White Valentine and it is sold out sadly but I've said this so many times I wouldn't recommend this one particularly but I'm making do because it's in my closet. I love the fact that this has this really nice champagne color with a contrasting black 
leopard print all over it and it's a really fun silhouette it looks really great belted on me as well and the length of it is really nice too again this is one that looks really great just one with a t-shirt or with one of those sweaters and also with some of these other layering pieces I'm going to mention in a minute too then just kind of rounding out the items that I would wear on my lower half uh, a couple pairs of skinny jeans just because that is my denim silhouette of choice I just find that they're the most flattering on my body shape and I always go for something that has more of a mid to a high rise I personally prefer a high rise just because my uh, legs do have a really short inseam my torso is quite long um, now I would usually go for something in a dark and also in a light color so I've got some white high-waisted skinnies these ones are from Everlane I actually would build these more as a mid rise though on me and then I've also got some from Reformation too which are really nice and soft and stretchy so those are definitely transitional basics for me I think they look really great with boots but then again you can also wear them with some really cute flats or sandals as well if it is warm enough then the next transitional basic on my list is a great blazer now this is kind of the time of year when I find that I'm wearing my blazers the most just because during winter months I'm usually wearing like a really big chunky knit sweater and then I just want to throw a coat on over the top but when it comes to the transitional months that is when my blazers have their day I've got a couple here they're both a bit different so we've got this oversized style this one's from Evelyn it's in a cotton linen mix so very summery and it's just a really nice fit on me and I like the fact that it's slightly longer this looks really great with jeans I also really like it with skirts and it does look nice over little slip dresses as well then for something a little bit more tailored I've got this one here from Country Road this one is slightly heavier so it's one that I would wear closer to winter as opposed to summer just because of how thick the fabric is it's fully brunt <laughs> sorry the Birds are going nuts at the moment, but yeah, it's fully lined uh, and because it's double breasted, I find that this one works particularly well with trousers or with jeans. For a more edgier jacket option, I would probably pair my little leather jacket from All Saints over the top of any of these outfits. This is a jacket I would 100% recommend investing in during the Black Friday sales if you had your eye on it, just because if memory serves me, I think All Saints will probably have something like 30% off, at least that's what I got when I purchased this last year. I'm so happy with it. It does run true to size FYI if you want a really close cut but if you want something that is a little bit larger that you can pair a big snuggly sweater underneath then definitely size up in this it will give about half a size after you've worn it a bit as well but it's really beautiful quality and I think a great alternative if you really love the look of the acne leather jackets but you don't want to spend over two thousand dollars on a piece like this then the final outerwear item that I tend to wear a lot especially in the transitional season is a great trench coat this one here is from M&S and I absolutely love this it's kind of got that nylon feel to it and I really like the color of it just because it's such a muted soft beige uh, kind of more of a cool tone which I find works really well with my own uh, coloring but it's just a simple piece these are rain resistant as well so really good if you get caught in a downpour although I would recommend taking an umbrella with you as well um, but I just find these are one of those Parisian classics and it's just one of those styles that I find always makes me feel really chic and put together then I've just got a few pairs of shoes that I tend to reach for a lot during the transitional season but I would kind of consider these more the bare bones basics because I do like to swap my shoes in and out a lot and I'd also kind of say a sling back flat would be a great basic but I've got a great pair of sneakers something that's really comfortable easy to walk around in usually this is a time of year when I can bear my ankles a little bit more and I feel really comfortable in something like this and these are a great way to kind of get that Scandi style aesthetic especially if you're wearing them with jeans or with some nice kind of tapered trousers then we have a good pair of loafers these are my Sam Edelman ones and they're a really great dupe for the Gucci loafers I am going to link my last designer shoe dupe video up here if you'd like to go and check that out if you wanted some more uh, affordable alternatives to the designer counterparts but these have worn really well they are a little bit scuffed up at the toe so I need to give them some TLC but they look really chic again perfect pairing with skirts and things like that too as well as with jeans and trousers then I finally like to go for something that is a little bit more feminine with a heel my shoe of choice is always my Vanelli two-tone pumps these ones I've had for I want to say a couple of years now these are the uh, wool flannel ones with the suede toe cap but I've also got them in the beige leather with the fabric toe cap detail I've had these ones resold because I've worn them so much that I was wearing the heels down uh, they're so comfortable really chic uh, and I find that they just elevate a lot of my outfits with the little almond toe detail otherwise pointed toe like I mentioned before like my sling bags would be my other ultimate choice so those are my transitional season basics I hope that you enjoyed this video I would love to know if you had a favorite piece and also what your transitional season basics look like thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time with a brand new video see you soon bye, bye.